good morning. Ah, it's Monday, um, November 12th. We're on our let's see Friday, Saturday, Sunday, third day camping. This has been quite a learning experience because this is a very, very tiny trailer. Um, but I'm confident that once we um, organize our, our our materials in the best way that really kind of we have at hand what we need when we need it. So that means being very thoughtful about where we place um, our stuff so that it's easy and we're like we're moving stuff around the least number of times. This is a 17 foot trailer which means on the inside it's probably like 14 feet total uh, end to end on the inside and about 7 feet wide. So you can imagine how um, what a small space this is especially for two people. Um, but you know what we've camped and I lived in a teepee once. I understand little spaces. They don't bother me at all. In fact, they're kind of cozy and, and adventurous. So that works for me. So I thought I'd give everybody a quick tour of what we have set up so far. We're definitely in process. Um, so here we go. It's starting to look like it's much more my style. I did not, in fact, get matching comforters. Just, I don't know. I can't get away from the creative patterns and colors to, to make this more conservative. It's just not going to happen. Here's some curtains that I'm making. I got a bolt of fabric at one of the thrift stores for $8. It's huge. I didn't do anything to this fabric other than cut it in half and then um, lengthwise uh, this this direction right here I did not cut it all that's just the fabric folded over and in order to get a uh, curtain rod in there I use these little clips um, that clip into just a little piece of the fiberglass trim and then I tied it to the pole the rod and then I use these little hoop clips to hold up the curtains. And this right here, I mean, these are just natural folds. This is just the, I didn't do anything. I haven't done anything to this. I'll probably hem these edges, but that's it. The bottom part of the fabric I love unfinished. I think that's so pretty. And I, I need to add some more hooks so that it has a little more structure. I ordered those on Amazon today, and so if I want to open it up, that's all I have to do. And you can see what it looks like now when uh, the curtains are completely open. Much prettier than that. Those just don't hold up very well. They're annoying, um, and they lack style. I got this little holder I think is normally for holding magazines, books, or um, perhaps journals. And I attached it to the wall using uh, curtain hooks. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'll see if I can show you another version of this. But uh, basically this is fiberglass and carpet. And there's no way to nail a hole in here. So you get these little hooks that, um, that loop down and you can stick it and it's got a little loop right here and um, then you can hang stuff on the walls. And I used this so that I didn't have a bunch of um, wires hanging down from my um, outlet here. And this is just a little remote wireless thermostat I use that I hook up to a space heater. So it's just pretty handy to hang it right there. So I think that works well. So up above the kitchen sink I have stored things that make sense that I need access to quickly which is uh, glasses, cups, and um, other dishes. 
So we've been moving things around a lot, trying to see where do we need, um, you know, where are things easiest to grab? What's the intuitive place to go to? So up above is where I intuitively go for my dishes. And then right above the sink is a little uh, cabinet. It's, it's got a neat function. So when I open it up, it becomes a little table or workstation. And this is where I just keep my dishwashing liquid and spices and coffee. Because, you know, coffee is super high priority. You always want that at your fingertips. Below the sink, we have a little tidy dropout drawer. Originally I was putting silverware in here, but it didn't make any sense at all because it's so tiny. So I just keep my sponges for cleaning and a flashlight so I have easy access. It's amazing how many times I've needed a flashlight since we got this just because I've not understood some of the things that happened and I need a flashlight to be able to illuminate what's going on. Not sure if y'all saw this before. It's a really nice three burner stove. So the first drawer is where I keep all my silverware. And we got this little container at the thrift store as well. And then down here, just my hardware stuff. And I also got this container at the thrift store. There's a little hot pad trivet. I put several hooks in here. These are the removable hooks in uh, strategic places. Um, as I found myself wanting to hang things up or needing another place to put them, I would hang these up. And here's more of those little car, um, uh, what do you call them? There's some more of these uh, curtain hangers where I've put a little loops for my keys. That way I won't lose my keys. It makes sense when I come in the door to hang them up. And then one of the things I really disliked about the casita was this full length mirror right in the middle so that no matter what you did, you had to watch yourself. And I, I don't have a problem with how I look, but it's just a little distracting. So what I did is I put some of those removable hooks on the mirror and that way I can uh, take care of two things at once. I need a place to hang my shawl or a jacket and it takes care of the mirror issue. This little pole we put in, it's can't really even tell that it's there unless you're looking for it. When we have a wet towel or whatever and we're in for the night, we need to hang it up. This, we just use this towel right here. So that was a that was actually a dawn invention. That's our furnace, by the way. This refrigerator holds a whole lot of food. It's really pretty, pretty amazing. There's ice tray there, or freezer. We've not done much cooking in terms of on the stove, but all the cooking we've done, which is a lot for me because I hardly ever cook, but I've cooked all the time since I've been here, has been in our instant pot. So I've been learning new recipes. That fits in there into this little cabinet perfectly. And then this little container we also got at the thrift store. It's about a 12 by 12 foot, about 8 inches tall, and we just keep our dry goods in there. This is really important when you're traveling because you don't want all your food and canned goods or whatever to go, to go flying. I put a lot of emphasis on structure inside the cabinets and drawers to keep things in place while we're traveling. And then we do have one big closet here. See if you can see this. So I have a little hanging shelves off of the um, curtain rod and then we each have little boxes where we put our uh, our clothes 
And then next to it, if you can see back in there, we can hang up a few coats and such. And then down underneath here, next to my purse, which is, I haven't found a good place to store my purse. This little blue thing right here is a laundry basket. So that sticks in there and we can keep all of our dirty, dirty laundry separate and uh, easy, easily accessible for us, whoever we decide that uh, we're ready to do our laundry. So if I'm entering the bathroom, this is going to be almost impossible to see with this small lens. That's our bath mat on the bottom. This is a um, dry storage for anything that we don't want to get wet. And there's some neat little uh, cubbies here for your shower items. And the shower wand is right there. It can uh, it can come you know come down when you're taking a shower. And in the shower area is the toilet. You flush it at the bottom. So down here is a chamois. So when you get through showering and all the walls are wet, you just kind of wipe them down. Of course, the shower curtain you can't even see. But if I were to take a shower, I would just close that see this and now I have the shower curtain which protects the whole hallway or of course you can close the door there's a little bit of space to hang your towels on the inside of the door I'm not really happy with that I don't like this cheap plastic but until we figure out our systems better um, I'm not going to replace it or do anything with it but you can see there's a big difference between pre-thrift store and post thrift store.